Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra. Today I'm sharing a card that I created for Craft Roulette episode 198. If you're not familiar with Craft Roulette, it's a paper craft challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. The show is live every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Now the parameters for episode 198, which aired Friday, January 19th of 2024, the parameters were spanner for project, butterfly colors, a centerpiece element, and dial for random. It's been a while since I've created a process video, but when I heard this week's parameters, I knew I had to use this die set that I received from Tr Trinity Stamps recently. Now, Trinity Stamps is one of the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 super sponsors, and they sent me a bunch of goodies from their new release to craft with. So I'm working with the cell phone mini slimline die set. It has these awesome app icons, customized text bubbles, a snap, uh, snapshot scene, and it pairs perfectly with the smartphone saying stamp set that has 12 different sentiment stamps that you can use as text messages, plus 18 image stamps, all these cute emojis. And the stamp set has coordinating dies. So I'm excited to use this, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll jump right in. So off camera, I went ahead and cut out the cell phone frame out of black and white cardstock plus I cut the app bar and icons out of both black and white. And then I also cut out this frosted acetate. I saved this from some packaging of some sort and I came across it and I thought it would be perfect to lay on top of the black to make it look like the translucent bar on an iPhone. So let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm first gonna color all of these app icons and I've selected a few Copic markers in the colors that match the apps. These are um, pretty small, but I'm gonna start with the star or the movie app icon, it's purple. So I'm using BV17 for the darker shade and then I'm using BV13 for the lighter shade. Now for the phone and messaging apps, I'm using YG09. And I thought YG01 would work, but it ended up being too light. So I added YG07 on top. And then for the music app icon, I'm using R17 and R27. Next, I glued these onto the frosted strip. And I'm using my embellishment wand to help me pick up the little tiny white pieces that go in the center. But, um, in order for me to glue this frosted strip onto the black piece, I have to make sure to only apply glue behind those app icons because I don't want you to be able to see that um, through the frosted acetate. So I'm making sure just to put it behind those buttons. And off camera, I cut out three additional frames since I'm gonna build this up to be a shaker card. And I also cut a three inch by six inch piece of acetate to put behind the top layer of the frame. I also cut a white 3x6 rectangle for the back part of the phone and I have a half sheet of gray cardstock and a half sheet of blue cardstock that I plan to use to stamp my text message sentiments onto. And I'll be using a few sheets of the pattern paper from this paper collection by Trinity Stamps. This is called Double Scoop. It mostly has realistic images that are perfect for making ice cream or birthday cake cards, but there's a few in here that aren't, and I'll be using this rainbow colored pattern that looks like it's been ink blended. And I thought this would be a good one to use as the phone case for the back side of the phone. So I cut this down to three by six also. And then to get these pieces to have rounded corners like the frame or the cell phone, I used this corner rounder punch. So next I've laid out all of the sentiment stamps onto my Misty stamping platform, making sure to spread them out so that I can use the coordinating dies to cut them out. And I added anti-static powder on top, and then I stamped them with Versamark embossing ink. And I stamped it twice just to make sure that I had a good, um, or plenty of ink there, I guess. 
and now I'm adding white embossing powder on top I'm trying to tap off the excess I ended up using a brush just to kind of get those extra white flakes off and then I let my heat tool heat up for about 30 seconds off camera and now I'm applying the heat so that I can melt the embossing powder And then I stamp the same sentiments onto the gray cardstock using Versamark Claire Nocturne ink. And since this is a pigment ink and it stays wet a little bit longer, I can add clear embossing powder on top. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'll just basically repeat the same process. At this point, I wasn't sure what sentiments I wanted to use as my text messages. All right, so now for the spanner part of the card, the first parameter from Craft Roulette, but I'm taking a five by seven inch card base made from silver shimmer cardstock, and I'm measuring one inch from the edge on each side and marking it with a pencil. And then I'm taking my paper trimmer and I'm cutting it along that pencil mark from the edge all the way to the crease on both sides. And this is what makes the spanner card. You've got these two little legs or flaps and now i'm taking another pattern paper from that same paper collection the three quarter inch square and this is going to go on the square piece in the middle and i also cut another layer of the phone frame out of glossy black card stock i thought it would make a little bit make it look more realistic i guess and so i glued the acetate sheet on the back of that glossy card stock and then i glued the other black layers that I cut, I glued that to the back just to help build up the thickness since this is gonna be a shaker card. I wanted to make sure that I left plenty of room for the shaker bits to move around. And then my corner punch wasn't exactly the right size, so I did have to trim off the corners a bit, but I glued the white insert piece onto the trimmed piece of white cardstock. I guess it wasn't really necessary, but it fit into the frame and I wanted it to look more like the screen. So the next I added some glue to the top and the bottom of the back of the phone so that I could attach it to those one inch flaps. So then I attached the colorful phone case to the back and the next I attached the acetate piece to the glued layers and I ran my anti-static powder tool all along the edges of the inside of the cell phone where my shaker bits are gonna go just to help prevent them from sticking to the sides. This helps to remove any adhesive that may have seeped out. And then after looking at it, I didn't think that it was thick enough so that the shaker bits could move around. So I decided to add some skinny foam strips all along the back of that frame. Now for the shaker bits, I'm using the Vibrant Hearts Embellishment Mix, which are these really colorful clay hearts that match the paper perfectly. And I laid them out on the white part and then tried my best to align the cell phone directly on top. So I've removed the adhesive backing and I'm trying my best to get it perfect. And then I laid out my text messages to say, hello, I miss you, let's get together, call me, and you're the best. And that's kind of the order that I did them in. And then I glued those down and I added the little heart to the last message. It's part of the die set and I thought it was super cute. It's tiny, but I think all of these little details really make the card look more realistic. And I just love how this turned out. So in visiting the parameters again, I know I've taken care of the spanner part, the butterfly, rainbow colors, and the dial part. So for the centerpiece element, I decided to add something to the center of the square that's hidden behind the phone. So I glued down the other half of the colorful three and a half inch strip that I cut down to be four and three quarter inches. And I put that on top of that stripe square directly behind the cell phone. So you can't see it from the front. And then I used the larger emoji face stamp from the stamp set and I stamped that onto yellow cardstock. And I cut that out with a two inch punch. And then I also stamped the little heart in the speech bubble onto white. And I used the coordinating die to cut that out. And I colored it in red. Um, and then I attached both underneath the phone as my centerpiece. I did that off camera. I also added two purple quarter inch strips across the top and bottom on the front of the card. 
and then the scrap strips of the stripe paper across the top and bottom on the inside of the card. And of course, I added a white square to the inside to have a place to write my message. And this is my finished card. I love how it turned out and it covers all of the parameters that were spun on the wheel for episode 198. This is just another idea for using the cell phone mini slimline die set. I have lots of other products from Trinity Stamps that I'll be sharing with you in future videos. So I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you're new here and not already a subscriber. As a matter of fact, we have a hop coming up on Saturday, January 27th, where members of the Kendra's Card Challenges design team will be creating cards using products from Trinity Stamps and the card sketches from Challenge 13. So I hope you'll join us and hop along for a chance to win a prize. I really hope you enjoyed this process video and I hope you'll check out Craft Roulette if you're not familiar with it. It's a lot of fun and it really stretches your creativity. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by. I hope you like my card and I hope to have you join me here on my channel again soon. Have a wonderful day.